welcome back to my channel my name is Misha if you don't already know and in today's video I'm gonna literally it's like a vlog style type video it's not even like a serious like sit down video um I'm gonna be using original flavors book I want to make stupid today so I bought this bit not too long ago maybe like last week or something I skimmed through it they got kind of like a variety of different type of meals so I saw the stew peas and said you know what I want to make that myself so y'all just gonna be like in like a vlog style watching me how to do it just me follow following the book um to see if you guys even want to buy the book as well you know so yeah without any further ado any further stalling let's get into this and I hope you enjoy the video so um got the book here and I've got all the ingredients already laid out on my um on my counter so yeah that's that really <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go through it and see what they're saying and stuff oh, no. So what you need here yeah, is you need two cans of kidney beans, you need garlic, I'm just going to use garlic granules because I don't have time to cut up no garlic, um, you're going to need time, so I've got my time in here, my garlic is here, I'm going to need those two, um, you're going to need all spice, so I've got it in this. You're going to need spring onions, two spring onions, which is here. You're going to need salt, pepper. You're going to need one can of coconut milk. Um, two large potatoes, a pumpkin or butternut squash. I've got butternut squash. Three carrots, four tomatoes and squash bunny. I don't do squash bunny, I don't do pepper at all. So if anything, I might just add chilli powder, but yeah. And then we've got spinach, so we need plain flour and salt. So the first step they say is um, tip the contents of the can in. Tip this into two of these. So two of these into your pan. So, so I'm going to do. Oh, this is black beans, man. Oh well. I haven't got the wrong ingredients. <laughs> I've got black beans instead of kidney beans. Oh. Man, that's annoying. These cans all look the same. <laughs> they all look the same, honestly. So I've got kidney beans and black beans in the same pot. Okay, it's probably the same thing anyways. Then they say, um, and add the ingredients. So I need to add garlic. That's all I do. I'm just adding like head of garlic granules. And then time. And then pimento seeds. I have pimento seeds. Oh, okay. I put like all spices in, like powder, but I got seeds. So I'm going to put five of those. Let me see what I'm doing. So then, uh, spring onions and salt. So two spring onions. I'm actually in a rush today, you know. Okay. 
This is half, so I'm going to do it like this. Do you know I look a bit big there? I'm going to like cut it long ways. Just going to cut it like, like this. <laughs> like that. So just cut it in half and then like cut it long ways. Like that. Um, I'm going to add black pepper and salt, one teaspoon, it's about a teaspoon in it, and then pepper, this is one tablespoon, so it's about one tablespoon, and then add coconut milk and cover up with a lid. So I've got coconut milk here. In. Like that. I can't believe I got. I can't believe I got black beans, man. That is so annoying. <laughs> we're gonna see what that gonna taste like, man. Oh gosh, one job, Misha. One job. All right, so we have that, and then it says bring to a boil. So I'm gonna put a lid on it. So that is just so annoying the fact that I've got black beans, y'all got black beans. <laughs> One job, literally. I think because I'm in a rush, I've got to do something at six, and it's now five eight. Um, I'm mean, just in a rush, like, so I wasn't even looking at them properly. That's my excuse, that's what I'm going with today, okay? That's what I'm going with. So, in the meantime, after 30 minutes, when that's boiled, I need to add the other ingredients, like the, the potatoes, brown up squash, and the carrots and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up, I'm gonna cut up the stuff already, so, that no time is wasted. I'm gonna put it in a bowl. Um, so I need two large potatoes. A potato peeler. I'm gonna wash my potatoes first. You know guys, eh, it might it might look like I might not be able to cook and stuff. I can actually cook. It's just I want to test out this cooking book because my options are quite limited, you know. They're quite limited. I can I just kind of cook the same thing all the time. So I use this book, I'm using this book for like inspiration and things like that. You know. That's basically what I'm using this for. Okay, so it says slice cute, cool and cute. Okay. Let's get my potatoes. I'm just going around. Take a few of them. Like so. Mm -mm -mm. And it says I've got to cube them, so 
into two to three centimeters. So I bought the book off Amazon for 18 pounds or 16 pounds, one of those, it was on sale. Um, and I found out about the book because of Facebook, obviously Facebook ads everywhere. And I was like, you know what, let me just, let me just expand my horizon, you know, let me just make some new stuff. I love trying out new foods. Like if you follow me on Instagram or something, um, or even Twitter, I post out food that, I just post out food like, it's called Misha's, Misha's it's called Misha's Righteous Kitchen. And, um, I just post out like new foods that I've made. So I like, I like experimenting. I do like experimenting, so this is fun to me right now. I'm actually having fun. I might look stressed out because I've really got to hurry up. But, um, yeah, like I like new foods, man. I like it, I like it a lot. Let me show you the pot. You can see it's boiling. This is the vegetables. I'm just gonna add it in the um just gonna add it in here. Like that. This doesn't look like how I want it. <laughs> Anyway, um, maybe I should have left it in for longer, you know. We should bring it to a boil when it was boiling, so. Okay, then I'm going to add the tomatoes.
There's a lot. Is it meant to look like this? It's the black beans that's giving me the wrong colour. It's not what I want. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So then it says, and I scotch bullets. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of chili powder. Listen, please don't come for me in the comments. I beg, please. It's the first time I'm doing this. So I'm just mixing it all in. Oh, then I've got a dumplings as well. I don't know how the heck that's going to work. So I'm going to leave that. Wait a minute. The... And then it says to start making the... Okay. So it's telling me to make the... Um... What time is it? It's telling me to make the um, the spinners now. Oh, I didn't want to make them right now, but I have to. You're thinking, what kind of flour is that? Listen, when there was a shortage of flour because of the pandemic, I had to go to the corner shop. The corner shop had to help me out, mate. Okay. Like that. Get some salt. Flavor. And then this one has some water to it. Bit at a time. I've just finished the spinners now. They're looking all types of odd and sh weirdly shaped. So I'm just gonna leave that. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that to do its thing for like half an hour or so. I'm just gonna cover it over. I'm gonna cover it until half past six. Um, this is what the stupies is looking like. I might turn it down to be honest, I think it's on too high. 
and then I'm gonna come back 6 30 because I'm on a meeting call now come back 6 30 hopefully the potatoes are somewhat done the books is um cover again and simmer for 30 minutes so maybe make it simmer simmer for 30 minutes then make the spinners which I've done make as many as you like and set them to a side yep uncover the pot at the stage um carefully take one out of the scotch bonnet do it's reverse and add some water if needed and dash in the dumplings in and cook for 15 minutes until the spinners are cooked so I'm guessing that the vegetables will need to be nearly done before I put in the spinners because he wants hard potatoes anyways I'm gonna come back when I've done it okay I want to come back when I've done it because I've got something to do now so but all in all I'm actually pretty happy of how it's gone um it's pretty simple like as soon as I get it down once I get this done I've tasted it and I like it and things like that then um I'm gonna do it again and again and again so I can just keep practicing and then it'll just be ingrained in my head and then I'll be able to um just do it and add my own stuff to it and make it taste how I want to make it taste and just make it my own you know so that's the reason that's really the reason why I got this book if I'm honest with you um so I'll be back in like 15 minutes yeah everywhere's a shelf in this kitchen because it's not that big but I'll be back in you know, half an hour ish to check up on the thing and then yeah hopefully it goes well guys hopefully hopefully lose well lose well lose well all right see you guys in a minute all right guys so it's like way past half an hour i just had to do something so this is what it looks like oh can y'all see that it's giving me um i mean the vibes are correct the vibes i'm feeling is correct you know so i'm gonna taste it shortly and see what it looks like to me the look looks good it looks okay you know it looks okay for my first try so i'm pretty happy about that um i'm gonna taste this dumpling and see if it's cooked why oh, she's hot All right make stew peas using um original flavors cookbook so i would suggest you guys get it to be honest i'm gonna do some more videos for me trying out new food that i've never made before so yeah that's that really that's the end of the vlog so if you got this far make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the like button notifications all of that comment down below whatever cookbooks whatever else recipe you want me to try out because i'm gonna just try it you know what i'm saying i like desserts as well drinks not just like main food any type of food you know what i'm saying righteous food though we don't do unrighteous over here misha's righteous kitchen yeah so make sure you subscribe like share comment all of that good stuff and lots what i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs> one day looking crazy but um just a little quick update about the stew peas yeah so i had to add some of my own stuff to it add some of my own stuff so i followed the recipe in in like regards to the seasonings and stuff but um i had to add some all-purpose seasoning i added some more salt and pepper i added stock like a vegetable stock cube um i added some more garlic some more thyme um and i added like a little bit of bisto gray granules just to make it a little bit thicker it was a bit um it was a bit watery when i looked at it boiling up so i had like a little bit of garlic granules but whenever you make if you make this just make sure you taste it before you like turn it off so before i added the dumplings in i tasted it and it just didn't taste like anything so i just added a whole bunch of stuff um like i said the, i'll just mention what i added and I left it for about 20 minutes when I got to it it was 
nice and thick like the consistency was thick and it was it was nice my mom liked it as well she slurped it not slurped it <laughs> she boxed it <laughs> she boxed it all up um so that's good news i'm having part two now so yeah just wanted to quickly tell you that because i didn't mention it before but yeah that's what i did so but to chop well and then i'm going to sleep because it just slumped me like i'm ready just to go to bed so yeah <laughs> that's that really so um i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching shalom bye